Hello everyone, welcome to my beginner guide YouTube video for Black Desert Online. Now, in this video I'm just going to do some brief overviews on what you should focus on in Black Desert as a new player and why you should be focusing on that. So the first step is, in, in Black Desert Online, I would recommend finding a class you love to play. Test them all out, figure out if you like this one or that one. Once you figure that out, level them up. When you're starting to play Black Desert Online, you have the ability to go to Olivia, which allows you to level up to level 58 and 99%. You get an additional 100% bonus, plus whatever else they attempt to add, if that's an event or if it's just your normal event uh, XP boost. Those include your rewards for 200% for an hour or 100% for two hours, and you're faster and stronger for another 40%. Now, starting off Black Desert, once you figure out your class, you definitely want to go ahead and grab one of the armor sets. If you have the money to purchase it straight out, go ahead and do that. If you can't, try to snipe one from the market. They're kind of expensive, so you might have a little bit of trouble getting one, as well as the RNG plays into that effect. But this also gives you that additional 10% XP boost. So those alone will give you a nice little boost. And then you can go ahead and buy milk teas from the auction house. I wouldn't recommend crafting them early. It's easier just to straight out buy them. And you also get your elixirs for an additional 15 or 10, 15 percent or 10 percent if you buy green or blue. So running all of that will it essentially speed you up really fast. You'll be able to hit 56 in no time. They've labeled a lot of the areas now within the map telling you where you can hunt at certain level ranges and where you can, you know, where you can go from there. So now the next piece is you might be wondering, okay, how can I make money? The first step really is to just follow the quest lines. They have really updated the quest lines in this game immensely. They tell you exactly what it is, what you want to do. So you have your main quest line that you can hide and do all of those, of course. You have your suggested so you can get your inventory spaces and advancements and add in life skills and stuff like that. Definitely do anything you can possibly do in that case. And then you have your reoccurring. Uh, daily quests that you can do. So you have your Calpheon for contribution points, you have small Calpheon, and then you have daily gatherings in Olivia and stuff like that. So definitely following these uh, guides will get you those get you those that money early and get you caught up to the ventured players. Now you might be wondering what is CP or contribution points meant for? And they're meant to help you get the the nodes throughout the world. Now nodes are these little places where the, you see different names and different tags here and these nodes you're allowed to put workers that you can farm uh, send them to farm stuff for you such as eggs and potatoes so one of the biggest things that's going to help you in the game is going to be the potatoes or wheat or barley and the multiple locations of it but the two I'm just showing you right now is just where you can get them at so having I have my own little wheat farming going on here and you can use the wheats and the grains to make flour and uh, and go for an end dough if you need to, but the wheat is what you need essentially. This wheat will allow you to craft beers, and the beers will allow you to feed your workers and also get byproducts of cooking. Uh, you have to cook through a house residence, and I will get into that video at another time. For now, you can Google search that. And going into why you want to cook, though, the first reason is the byproducts. Besides that, it's going to level up your life skills. Is the byproducts have an additional beer, some money, some cooking XP, and some milk, and also contribution points. So leveling up your beer, you doing beer spam uh, in your house on cooking will give you these dishes, and then you can turn you can turn these dishes in for contribution points, and it is a lot. So if you turn a thousand of them in, you can get roughly give or take where you stand, because as you get higher in contribution points, more XP you need to get higher. So if you start early enough, you'll, you'll just fly through contribution points, especially if you're spamming beers every day. Uh, and the fact that it doesn't really take any type of uh, energy besides having some wheat on you and having the equipment to craft it from the NPC in town or crafting it yourself is essential to do this. Now the next and important step is AFK Fishing. AFK Fishing is going to come into play, and the reason for AFK Fishing is to gather your ancient relic shards early once you hit level 50 you can summon the boss and go ahead and join up in groups of five mm -hmm. of five people and all of you guys doing five schools each the reason behind these relic shards is you're going to need them for your gear down the road gear such as Levertos or the boss gear essentially essentially and those give you memory fragments memory fragments allow you to repair gear 
that is essentially would not be able to re be repaired without having another the same item. So like the Virgos, Kazaka, Hoover, even all the boss gear, those gear, those items you want to use those memory fragments for. Do not use your memory fragments for normal items such as Grunnel and stuff you can buy from the auction house a lot easier. Now with fishing, you're going to start off kind of hard. You're going to be using the old fishing rods. So you're going to be low level, getting the bigger inner 10. It's going to be a little bit tricky. But again, there's always something to help you along the way in making sure you use a sweet tea to give you light, life XP. And it will speed you up pretty fast to get the beginner 10, then go into the green green pool, and then get the skill 5 for the blue pool. With those alone, you'll be able to keep fishing no with no real issue. And then again, once you hit artisan, you get the golden fishing rod, and we'll get into the other rods in another video. So fishing, if you're fishing, you have your beer crafting going for the byproducts as well and some side income from, from either wheat or potatoes. And we'll get into more down the road as you progress through the game. And the least, the final thing is going to be, you be, might be wondering about how do you get black stones? How do you enhance and fail stack? Just to be keep it simple, the first step really to farming black stones is doing your dailies. And there's a lot of different types of dailies, but the main one you want to focus on is going to be your bosses. Now, before you're awakened, you're going to have a version of the boss that says uh, Captain Summon Scroll like this without the awakening. If you can find players that were willing to help you do this, uh, it's, it's pretty easy once you're 45. It's not that difficult, but you should be able to solo them if you can't find a group that will do them for you. Now, you have two choices. You can either do this one or wait till you're awakened and grab the awakened bank Summon Scroll, which needs five pieces. So you can do this weekly with five people or do this daily with five people. Most people do the Awakened boss, not many of them do this. I highly suggest finding four other players to do your boss scrolls with. And the reason behind this is you get bundles. The bundles will give you uh, more Hunter Seals and more Stones and you'll be able to collect them daily. So now you might be wondering how I was able to collect that item without doing a quest. And that is because I have the knowledge on the bag. So once you have the knowledge of, on the boss, you no longer have to do the quest for the boss. Tiny tip. And just to go into Hunter Seals and Stones, Hunter Seals you get from doing any type of boss, such as the Relic boss and the daily bosses that you saw me just take now for my Awaken scroll. The Hunter Seals will give you, they allow you to transform them into exchange them for Black Armor Stones or Black Weapon Stones, and this essentially gives you those extra stones that you need for fail stacking. Now, essentially, if you don't want to do any of that, just farm all of it and sell it all, and you can buy your gear. That is another option. It's really up to you how you want to play the game. Of course, you can always try to snipe the market. It does get boring trying to snipe the market, especially with how bad the RNG is. And to wrap it all up, the final thing you want to make sure you're working on is gathering. Start gathering with water. You can spam that by just purchasing bottled water from the NPC in town. He will be able to give you bottled water, uh, bo empty bottles. Uh, this dude here, he's the worker. Uh, he'll be the material worker. He'll be able to give you empty bottles, and you'll be able to spam that against any river to get the bottled waters. You can resell the bottled waters. People will buy them, and then with that, you'll be able to level up your gathering to at least probably around skilled, which is where you want to stop doing that. Get yourself. You're going to get yourself a nice butcher axe that's going to be steel instead instead of uh, shining steel you just have a regular blue one and you're going to use that to farm lamb meat or any type of meat that you would want and we'll get into that in another video but gathering leveling up cooking leveling up get your beer processing get the byproducts to level up your cp and focus on one character and getting them leveled up to 58 using the olivia channel within the first month Needless to say, I hope this video has helped you. If it has, be sure to subscribe. Thank you all for watching. I will catch you all 